Well, the stem on your mountain bike is a common thing that a lot of people upgrade or kind of just experiment with it and try different lengths. If you're curious on stem length and how that affects the ride of your mountain bike, there are two videos that GMBN did about cockpit setup and stem length. Um, those are amazing. We link to them in the description. If you're curious on that topic, check that out. We're not gonna talk about that stuff today, but if you're curious, check those videos. Um, what we wanna talk about is sort of the top five stems in terms of ones that are reliable, um, good value for the money, popular people are riding, buying, and loving, and why. Um, what kind of makes stems change in price point is a bit interesting. So once you're at like 30, 35, 40 bucks in terms of a stem, you're gonna get a good quality stem. The more expensive you go, you're gonna see just more beautiful machining and a lot of that does translate into weight and better materials in terms of uh, the, the type of aluminum that it's made out of and, and how it's all put together. And, and you'll see that with these. So I'm gonna start at um, one of the more popular ones that we sell that's on sort of the lower end of the spectrum in terms of price point. So that is the Truvative Hussefeld stem. Um, these things, again, this is a $31 stem, roughly, and these things are 203 grams. So uh, that's a bit heavy. As you see us go higher up the price point, you'll sort of see the grams start to drop. And again, when you're at that price point, it's a little bit heavy, but it's still super reliable. This thing's using five millimeter bolts all the way around um, that you're not gonna have any issues with. And yeah, it's a super good quality stem. I believe it's only 31.8, but yeah, so check that out. Uh, next up, Race face Chester. So this is the Chester 35. These are 150 grams and they're about around 38 bucks. So you've already dropped 50 grams, just going up about eight, 10 bucks there. Um, these things have four millimeter bolts on the face and then five millimeter on the steerer tube. Uh, they come in a variety of lengths. Uh, yeah, good little nice stem. Again, you can, you'll, you'll start to see these things, the way these look and sh are shaped will get a lot more classy and sort of Lamborghini-like as you get more expensive. Um, stepping up into more of that premium price point, Race Face Turbine R35. Um, this is 138 grams. These are about 89 bucks. And you can see this thing has a lot more aluminum um, basically machined out of it. It's super hollow, it's super lightweight. Um, you got four millimeter bolts on the face and on the steer tube side. And this is one of the stems I usually run on my bikes. I love race face bars and stems and these things just look absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, they're super nice and people love these things. Again, all these stems that are here, the reason we're calling them the top five is because these are good quality stems that are good value for the money. They're very competitive in terms of price point to weight and quality. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind with all these. Uh, link below in the video description to uh, all these different stems and all the different sizes and variants they come in and a whole long blog article about all the sort of little specs of these things. Next up, 1UP Components. So 1UP Components just came out with a handlebar and stem combo. We made a big in-depth video all about their compliant 35 millimeter carbon handlebars, which is a super interesting, new, innovative thing in 1UP fashion. So check that out if you haven't seen it, but this is the stem. This is one of the more popular ones that we sell. Um, a little confusing, so if you're familiar with 1UP, they uh, did make a big name for themselves with the EDC. It's basically a whole toolkit and all this cool stuff that fits inside of the steer tube. And when they came out with EDC, the way that worked is you had to buy a tool or have a shop do it for you and they would actually remove your star nut, they would thread the inside of your steer tube and uh, then you could use what kind of looked like a cassette lock ring as the top cap of your stem to hold your whole headset tight and then you had this big nice open hole in your steer tube and that's where you could drop your EDC. Um, then when 1UP came out with a stem, they wanted to make it so you didn't have to go through that steer tube threading process since that was a bit, you know, just time consuming and the, the actual threaded tap tool cost money if you didn't have a shop that had it, et cetera. So this stem, you can actually, uh, if you don't have any of that stuff on your bike now, if you buy the EDC toolkit, you need this stem. So the stem alone is 85 bucks. Um, if you're gonna basically replace everything on your bike now, you're gonna need to buy the $30 top cap with it. So $85 stem, $30 top cap, and then what that'll do is allow you to use this stem, put it on your bike, and not have to, you can remove your star nut, and you don't have to thread anything. And you can get it all synced up. It's got sort of like a, 
um, a washer on the bottom that'll allow it to tighten the headset. Um, if you already have the thing threaded, you can just buy the $85 stem and use your existing whole top cap and setup. If you don't want to use EDC, you can just buy the $85 stem. So at this price point, 85 bucks, 150 grams. Uh, these things are killer. They come in a 35 and a 50 mil length at the moment. But yeah, one of the more popular stems that we've been selling, especially because a lot of people are using the one-up EDC tool um, kit and that works best with this stem. Lastly, we have the Renthal Apex stem. So this is, I think, the lightest stem out there that uh, most people are using on trail slash enduro bikes these days. It is crazy cnc It has basically a split face to it. It's using four millimeter bolts all the way around, and it's 122 grams at about $105, depending on the size you get. These come in a bunch of different lengths. They come 31.8 or 35 bar clamp. And yeah, they're probably one of the most badass looking stems on the market. I love these things. Uh, a lot of people when they first came out were thinking it's so light that it's not gonna be durable, but these things don't break. You're never gonna break a stem. If anything, you'll probably break handlebars before, but bars and stems are just something that doesn't really break on a bike, so I wouldn't be worried about it. Um, very rare case that that does happen. But so Renthal Apex, these look super nice paired with the Renthal fat bars and sort of their like bronzy gold color goes really well together. You can look at that here. And that is our top five. So again, um, didn't dive into what stem length changes on your bike. Check out those other videos we linked to in the description if you're curious about that. Uh, one thing to note, almost everyone these days on a trail slash enduro bike is running most likely um, a 40 or 50 millimeter stem. That's the most common ones. Most bikes are being specced with those these days. A lot of people sort of realize that a decently wide bar, 760 to 780 paired with like a 40, 50 mil stem is a great and really good feeling cockpit setup for that trail slash enduro bike. Um, some people are running shorter. You can go 32, 35 mil if you wanna go really short on your stem. Um, if you're on the more cross country or even more like trail XC down country side of things, you might go longer than 50 mil. You might go 67, 80, 90, 100, whatever. Um, but most trail enduro bikes, which I believe is most people that watch this YouTube channel, are running about a 40 or 50 millimeter stem. So most common there. Uh, yeah, let us know if we miss anything, what you, guys, what you guys are running in terms of a stem right now, what you thought of these. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.